Joined now by the candidates running for the 43rd Legislative District in the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. The district covers areas outside of Lancaster City from Strasburg to Brownstown. And the candidates from left to right are Steve Elliott, who is a groundskeeper at the Lancaster Country Club and Democratic challenger from Lancaster Township. And Republican incumbent Keith Greiner, who is from Upper Laycock Township. Thank you both for being here. We Thank appreciate it. Thank you, Susan, very much. Representative Greiner, when you first ran, you mentioned that as a CPA, you were the right person to handle the pension crisis. That's correct. This has now gone back to a special committee. The House did not approve pension. It was certainly a big issue this week. What has happened? Well, I think uh, it's a complex issue, as I said before, and I think we need to uh, you know, try to find, uh, try to find a, a compromise. I know we reached out to the governor. Uh, th this pension crisis is taking more and more funds out of our, our local residents' uh, pockets through increased real estate taxes. And uh, being a complex issue, it, it, it takes, uh, there's no easy solutions. And uh, the other day we, we said, you know, when we found out that this wasn't going to probably pass, it was close that uh, we're going to continue to plug ahead and try to work to find a compromise that works because uh, the reality is the taxpayers in Pennsylvania, this problem is going to keep growing and growing and we need to try to deal with it. And I do think uh, with my background and my expertise, and I was asked to work on state pensions but also municipal pension reform, I think we need to try to work together to try to solve this problem. But this has certainly been going on for a long time when you say we need a, you know, a, a compromise. What do you think about this, Mr. Elliott? Uh, my opponent says that he's a CPA. Uh, he also likes to say that the pensions are causing the, the, the raise in local property taxes, when in fact the state hasn't been funding education well enough to allow municipalities or school boards to pay their teachers. So the school boards have to raise local taxes because education funding isn't being properly funded by the state. The state's not holding up their end of the, of the deal. And as a CPA, he voted for the, the budget that was passed this summer and then didn't vote to pay for the budget. So if, if he was my accountant, I don't know that I'd keep him on board. Um, Any response to that? Yeah, I, I will respond to that. Uh, the reality is when you, you gotta look at the big picture when it comes to education funding here in the Commonwealth. And, per pupil spending were in the top 10 in the entire country. And whether, whether the kitty comes from state, uh, increasing state income taxes or local income taxes, um, the reality is the taxpayers have to pay for it. And people are calling me, particularly seniors, and they're struggling. And uh, the state, just full disclosure, since I've been there, we funded the, the pensions 100%. As a matter of fact, there was a time that came uh, last session where we're gonna taper the collars, meaning reduce the contribution I actually told leadership I thought that was inappropriate. We need to fund the pensions because we can't ex exasperate this problem. Now, but again, certainly over the years that has not happened. That has, and, and, it's, and it's both parties. I mean, let's that's, be that's perfectly clear about that. I mean, I mean Rend, uh, under uh, Governor Rendell, it did not happen. The funding did not occur. Now, getting back to the, his, his other question, you know, I do serve on appropriations committee, and I will say that we had to come up with a compromise budget that we thought was responsible. We can't have gridlock. We got to work. We got to work together with the governor. We have the most liberal governor in the country. We have a conservative house. And the reality is we tried to come up with a compromise that, that uh, level funded the budget, but increased education spending substantially this time without having any broad based taxes. Now, when the vote came up to fund those, to fund those, um, uh, that, that plan, there were what I would call kiddies. And it's just as, as we as individuals, we, let's say we save money for a car and our refrigerator breaks. We, uh, we had the ability to pull money from other areas to help fund that budget. And I didn't think it was appropriate to, to have some of the tax increases that we had in to help pay for that budget. So, and, and the other thing is too, I'm part of a taxpayer caucus. You know, we have to continue to try to find ways to cut costs before we look at broad-based tax increases. Some are calling for complete elimination of property taxes and obviously raising other taxes. <coughs> What's your feeling about that? Well. I'd like to respond to what he said first. So my wife and I have two daughters. When my second daughter was born, we found our childcare costs go from 200 a week to $400 a week. Now, there's only so much you can cut. We cut cable. We, we tried to cut down on, on gas expenditures. We watched our electric bill like, like most citizens have to do. You can only cut so much until my wife went and got another job. 
my wife's an attorney and she still was working a part-time job at Pottery Barn and, and I was picking the kids up from daycare. We were paying $400 a week on child care costs. Well, certainly that is an issue at the national level, child care costs. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, In terms of property taxes. Property taxes, uh, the, it, it's the only way that the state is able to compensate for education at, at a reasonable level. Perhaps we need to start looking at, at the tax exempts uh, and start charging them property taxes, churches. There, if you take New Holland Pike out to Leola, I, I counted from the Lancaster Country Club to Leola, there's, there's maybe, uh, not to, to, to New Holland, excuse me, there's maybe eight to 10 churches just on that stretch. Now, I don't know that they're all tax exempt, but, but if you start looking into that, perhaps yeah. they need to start paying property Is that taxes. something we should consider, Representative uh, no, I'll, I'll tell you what, um, this last session, the Majority Leader Reed asked, reached out to me as part of 10 other representatives to try to deal with this real estate uh, tax issue. And that 10 then ended up becoming about two dozen. Uh, the last session I voted for total elimination. I will say, he here's the problem. If you have total, even though I voted for it, if you have total elimination, people have to realize that all the money goes to Harrisburg. And I think that can be somewhat problematic. I was a township supervisor. I think those people that can make the best decisions how to spend money are at the local level. And then in addition, I really do believe one size doesn't fit all. Lancaster County has a tax you know, real estate tax uh, reform is an issue here. It's not so much an issue in Blair County. And people in Delaware County even have a different perspective. Um, I know Representative Grove from York County, he and I, I know we looked at a plan that would uh, kind of provide a cafeteria plan, meaning certain areas can, can use uh, maybe an increase in the in, or an income tax, uh, gross receipts tax on business. And I think ultimately, I think if there's going to be a solution to this, I think that's going to going to be, be the one. Um, I know a lot of people want to fight for elimination, and we can do that, but it's like anything in Harrisburg. Sometimes you have to take one step at a time. All right. Move slowly. Right? <laughs> well, we thank you both. Uh, we could go on and on, certainly, about these issues, but we Absolutely. thank you both for uh, being here, and we wish you the best on Election Day. Remember, Election Day is Tuesday, November 8th, and keep up with the latest election news on WGAL.com. You'll find more information on the other races we're following that you will only find online.